I'm going to ask you a question mm -hmm. from Reddit. When will Claude stop trying to be my puritanical grandmother, <laughs> imposing its moral worldview on me as a paying customer? And also, what is the psychology behind making Claude overly apologetic? Yep. Uh, so how would you address this very non-representative Reddit? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of I'm pretty sympathetic in that, like, like they are in this difficult position where I, I think that they have to judge whether some things like actually say like risky or bad um, and potentially harmful to you or, or, or anything like that. So they're having to like draw this line somewhere. And if they draw it too much in the direction of like, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm kind of like imposing my ethical worldview on you, that seems bad. So in many ways, like I like to think that we have actually seen improvements in on this across the board, which is kind of interesting because that kind of coincides with like, for example, like adding more of like a uh, character training. Um, and I think my hypothesis was always like the good character isn't again, one that's just like moralistic. It's one that is like, like it respects you and your autonomy um, and your ability to like choose what is good for you and what is right for you within limits. This is sometimes this concept of like corrigibility to the user. So just being willing to do anything that the user asks. And if, the models were willing to do that, then they would be easily like misused. You're kind of just trusting. At that point, you're just saying the ethics of the model and what it does is completely the ethics of the user. Um, and I think there's reasons to like not want that, especially as models become more powerful, because you're like, there might just be a small number of people who want to use models for really harmful things. Um, but having them having models as they get smarter, like figure out where that line is, does seem important. Um and then yeah, with the apologetic behavior i don't like that and i like it when claude is a little bit more willing to like push back against people or just not apologize part of me is like it often just feels kind of unnecessary so i think those are things that are hopefully decreasing um over time um and yeah i think that if people say things on the internet it doesn't mean that you should think that that like that could be that like there's actually an issue that 99% of users are having that is totally not represented by that but in a lot of ways I'm just like attending to it and being like is this right um do I agree is it something we're already trying to address that that feels good to me yeah I wonder like what Claude can get away with in terms of I feel like it would just be easier to be a little bit more mean mm. but like you can't afford to do that if you're talking to a million people yeah right like I, I wish you know because if you, I've met a lot of people in my life mm -hmm. that sometimes, by the way, Scottish accent, if they have an accent, yep. they can say some rude shit yeah. and get away with it. Yep. And they, they're just blunter. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's a, and there's some great engineers, even leaders that are like, just like blunt and they get to the point. And it's just a much more effective way of speaking somehow. But I guess when you're not super intelligent, you can't afford to do that. Or can 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 have like a blunt mode? Yeah, that seems like a thing that you could. I could definitely encourage the model to do that. I, I think it's interesting because there's a lot of things in models that like. It's funny where um, there are some behaviors where you might not quite like the default, but then the thing I'll often say to people is you don't realize how much you will hate it if I nudge it too much in the other direction. Mm -hmm. So you get this a little bit with like correction. The models accept correction from you, like probably a little bit too much right now. You know, you can over, you know, it, it'll push back if you say like, no, Paris isn't the capital of France. Um, but really like things that I'm, I think that the model's fairly confident in, you can still sometimes get it to retract by saying it's wrong. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if you train models to not do that, and then you are correct about a thing and you correct it and it pushes back against you and is like, no, you're wrong. It's hard to describe, like, that's so much more annoying. So it's like I, like a lot of little annoyances versus, like, one big annoyance. Um, it's easy to think that, like, we often compare it with, like, the perfect. And then I'm like, remember, these models aren't perfect. And so if you nudge it in the other direction, you're changing the kind of errors it's going to make. Um, and so think about which of the kinds of errors you, you like or don't like. So in cases like ap apologeticness, I don't want to nudge it too much in the direction of like almost like bluntness because I imagine when it makes errors, it's going to make errors in the direction of being kind of like rude. Whereas at least with apologeticness, you're like, oh, okay, it's like a little bit, you know, 
like I don't like it that much but at the same time it's not being like mean to people and actually like the the time that you undeservedly have a model be kind of mean to you you probably like that a lot less than than you mildly dislike the apology um so it's like one of those things where I'm like I do want it to get better but also while remaining aware of the fact that there's errors on the other side that are that are possibly worse I think that matters very much in the personality of the human I think there's a bunch of humans that just won't respect the model at all yeah if it's super polite and there's some humans that'll get very hurt if the model's mean. Yep. I wonder if there's a way to sort of adjust to the personality, even locale. There's just different mm -hmm. people. Uh, nothing against New York, but New York is a little rougher on the edges. Yep. Like they get to the point. Yep. And um, probably same with Eastern Europe. So anyway. I think you could just tell the model was my get. Like for all of these things, I'm like, the solution is <laughs> just, always just try telling the model to do it. And then right. sometimes it's just like, like, I'm just like, oh, at the beginning of the conversation, I just throw in like, I don't know. I like you to be a New Yorker version of yourself and never <laughs> apologize. And then yeah. I think Claude will be like, okie doke, I'll try. <laughs> or it'll be Certainly. like, I apologize. I can't be a New Yorker type of myself, but hopefully yeah. I wouldn't do that.